Kev to here and welcome to my new tutorial. So um, before I start with the tutorial I would just like to know from you guys um, something about what's going on in the future of this channel. So you guys may know um, next week on Tuesday Black Ops 2 is coming out and I'm definitely gonna make some gameplays of it. I just wanna know from you if you wanna have those gameplay videos on this channel. They will be commentaries or just gameplays. Um, if you want to have them on this channel or if you want me to make a separate channel where I just upload those Black Ops 2 or just gameplay videos at all. So yeah, it would be nice of you if you just put <coughs> could put your um, opinion about it in the description, uh, I mean in the comment section. Just say separate channel or if you want to have them on this channel, it's pretty up to you guys. I'm going to be doing what you want and yeah, but now coming back to the tutorial. So, actually, this is the final outcome of what we will do today. Actually, I don't know if you will see that good in on a YouTube video. I hope, because it's looking cartoonish. And that's a normal effect. Um, it's a normal 3D rendered text with Cinema 4D. And I've just made it cartoonish in Photoshop. Because, actually, come on. Yeah. Um... This is the um, start starting file we're working with. That's the 3D text, and um, normally there was a effect in Cinema 4D in the render settings actually that you could render out some um, cartoonish-looking things. But since R13, there's that effect which was called Sketch and Tune isn't in Cinema 4D anymore. You need to have a special version of Cinema 4D and pretty much no one got this version. So, for those who don't have it, I'm actually making this tutorial to let your 3D tags look a bit cartoonish. So, this is the final outcome, and now I'm gonna be leaving everything, and I'm gonna be showing you what we will do. So, um, first of all, you know, on my 3D view, it has those black things, really dark. Well, just switch, yeah. And here, I've already made those um, areas kind of brighter and just brighten up the whole thing. But starting now, I've grouped my whole thing like that was the original text, just brighten it up a bit. Uh, I've just grouped it down, and I'm going to be duplicating it, and um, I'm taking the first group I had and merging down the copy of that group. I'm making this because if I'm doing something wrong now, I could just, or if I just want to modify my text, I can still do it in here and don't have to go back in history like to the beginning. Anyways, um, let's get started. And for that, you just duplicate this layer and go into the filter gallery. And well, what you, what we do now is adding the first thing, which is, which is plastic wrap. You will have to put the settings to Highlight Strength 10, Detail 8 and Smoothness 15. Now just hit OK and put the Opacity to 80%. So actually that look, doesn't look really cartoonish at all. It just gives it a nice glow from the back. You will see that in the final image. What you will do now is go back to your um, to your first layer or to the layer which is the normal text, this one, duplicate it, put it on, put the duplication duplication on the top, and go into the filter gallery again. So now you go and go to brush strokes, add this better effect, put the spray radius <clears throat> on 16, well somewhere over there, and this smoothness on 15. Press OK and put the opacity down to 50%. So duplicate your first layer again, put it on the top, and go back into filter gallery. Now you go to watercolor, this is an artistic over here. Put the brush detail on 5, the shadow intensity on 10, and the text on 1. Press OK and put the opacity on 50 as well. 
So you see it's getting close to the um, cartoonish look. But actually we want to improve a bit because actually it doesn't look too well yet. So we want to get a bit more cartoonish look into this. So we just go to, to our beginning layer, put that on the top again, go into the filter gallery, it's always the same, you go into the filter gallery and add a filter and then just play around with the opacity. So um, on this one we go into distort and go on class, put the distortion on 12, the smoothness on 15, the texture on frosted, like if you look, um, those look quite different. Frosted is pretty much the best in my eyes for this effect. So you just put it on frosted and the scaling on 100%. If you put inward, it just um, changes, um, you know, the, the side it's coming from. I don't know how to explain that, right? But um, it just changes like the distortion on the bottom is now on the top and the distortion of the top is now on the bottom. That's actually what this. So well, um, just press OK. You can pretty much do how you want with that inward thing. Um, it doesn't really matter. And I'll put the opacity to 30%. And now the last thing you do is duplicating that beginning layer again, put it on the top, and go into filter gallery. Now you go on um, artistic, and you add poster edges. So the edge thickness is 2, the edge intensity should be 1, and the posterization should be 2 as well. So just hit OK and put the opacity of that one to 30. So actually you see this one looks quite cartoonish now. And I really like that look because um, I like using that sketch and tune effect in Cinema for the like a year ago or something and it looked pretty cool I didn't really think this one actually fits to that space style backgrounds but if someone wants to be creative any day maybe sometime soon and using that effect you could make a completely new background style with this effect so maybe give it a shot um, I showed you how to make this in Photoshop and actually if you want to just um, add a shadow to this you just merge those layers together and I can edit those things with a prop shadow. You know, just the normal settings you normally do in your text. Just some some things I would really like to do in here. Actually, I believe it's 93 is right. Well, this one is hard part. Yeah. So just like that, it actually looks pretty cool. And I really like this look of this uh, thing. So, yeah, just play around with those settings. When you have all those layers and the opacities of them, play around with them. Maybe you don't like this look too much. But I've showed you how you can use those filters because, um, not, I mean, in the actual situation, most people just use packs with um, pre renders or with uh, settings which I actually made, so you don't really have to think about what you're doing while designing a background. But I want to give you some ideas you could use just with those filters. You see actually you made out of a normal text, this one, a pretty cool looking cartoonish style of text. And if you now want to add some textures like a metal thing, it also looks quite cool. Um, put it in here for example and I'll just put it on overlay so that one makes the whole look a lot better as well maybe put the opacity of that one just down to 80% or something and it actually looks quite awesome so just play around with those settings um, I showed you how to do it you can get your own options modify them to your own preferences and just how you want it. So I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to put in the comment section if you would see some Black Ops 2 gameplays on 
my channel on this channel or if you want to have if you want to make um, if you want to get me to make a separate channel on which I will upload those Call of Duty things so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this please like and comment and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please go and subscribe it and yeah I'm out peace